What is happening fellow pioneers of human transportation? Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. It's a Wednesday, I'm out here for a lunch shift. We're, we're probably gonna work two or three hours. Probably gonna do 15 or 20 miles on the battery. I made some improvements to the scooter. Make sure you watch towards at least the middle and I'll tell you what I did to it. But the vehicle is running very well. It, we're just about ready to hit 500 miles. So there's some cops coming so I should probably go. I don't know why I was worried about these guys. Oh my God, is this guy walking in there with like a shotgun ready to go? No, he's just a sheriff looking to, oh, he's getting some, these guys are just getting homeless guys. I don't know, so with me. I mean, those guys are pretty intimidating. I guess uh, I saw them from a distance and I thought they were gonna mess with me because I'm standing like in the middle of this crosswalk thing. Okay, obviously we're at Target. Let's go find a place to sit down and chill. I think we've been making it happen recently by working the target market, so we're here again, we're gonna sit down. Twenty minutes at Target without a single order from either app, so we're gonna take it over to Chick-fil-A. Scooter's riding really good with this higher tire pressure. For the first time ever, I got these tires up to 40 PSI. Uh, let's not miss this light now. See how I had to pop it into third? I knew I was gonna do some high speed. I'm kind of leaving it in second and just kind of going slow, but on Santa Monica, I gotta go a little faster, but we're gonna get off Santa Monica now anyhow, so we can go slower. It's going to be in the 70s for like the next 10 days to my understanding it's pretty freaking awesome this is going to go down as one of the kind of the worst starts ever to a day because i think we've been out here for 30 minutes the app hasn't even buzzed not even just like bed orders i would take a bad uber order now no problem but obviously with the weather like this people are going outside so that's okay we'll get an order it'll happen Gotta give me some life. I just came out here for 30 minutes, not one order. Slow this week. Because of the weather's so nice? No, because it's spring break. Oh, it's, it's gonna be slow this week because of spring break, I you think? think so. Alrighty. I'm school and that's what I'm. I Since mean, this is. I left early. I left at five. Oh, really? I didn't Damn. Make $120 that left. Uh, it's funny. I did okay yesterday. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to. This is a real professional right here. Look at this. That bag, oh my God, is gonna fucking don't break. Hi, I got a Richard S. Okay, have it right here. You're the best. Thank you. We'll see you next time, Chick fil A. Audi team, we got it. Let's fucking go. Fellow pioneers, I hope you're enjoying this episode. I want to remind you that I shoot and edit all these episodes by myself. Nobody puts out more content than me. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. I appreciate your support. This channel does not grow without your help. This is a pretty easy one. We're going over to uh, Stanley. We're going like north on Stanley. So, like we usually do here, I'm going to go south to go north because uh, I don't want to take Sunset all the way down there. We can take Fountain. Let's go. I believe we're right on top of it. We're looking for 1040. It says on the left, but it's been getting that wrong. Okay, it's, yeah, it's going to be right here then. Drop is this off. it? Oh, no. Maybe this is it. Oh, is there somebody coming out for food? Hey there, how you doing? All right, you're getting the coolest drop off ever. Let me give you the uh, warm first. There you go. I do have a drink for you, okay? I got it packed real nice here. i get it out of here for you. Excellent day. Thank you so much. Enjoy, okay? Thank you, thank you. You too, you too. One order down, I guess we're gonna uh, head back to Target. I guess we're gonna try to make today about putting mileage on the new scooter with the new fix I made to the scooter. What I did to it, by the way, was my rear tire was not holding air good, like from the beginning. 
like every 20 or 30 miles you would lose 10 or 20 psi of whether i was riding it or whether it was sitting when it would sit overnight it would lose 10 or 20 psi as well so obviously it had like a super small leak because so i could ride it fine but i added sealant to it i made a whole video about it and uh if you guys want to check that out that's how i fixed this problem with the tire i think today i'm kind of testing it to be honest with you i cut some guy off so i flipped us into third year which is really just like basically fast enough mid 30s lots and lots of torque until you get to mid 30s but uh, i'm trying to ride around in second gear i'm trying to get a lot of range today uh, we're definitely going to get the distance because we still i'm going to take us all the way back to chick-fil-a as part of the plan i don't know what this person in front of me is doing so we've been officially we've officially been out here for an hour and a minute and we made like four dollars and 42 cents that's a pretty good rate huh uh, i think things will improve although sam was saying spring break is going to kill us today that there's not going to be any business he was saying look how even the streets are empty and chick-fil-a is slow so luckily i'm hungry so i can medicate myself with some chicken nuggets and french fries and a drink let's go i see three drivers here on the corner talking let's talk to all of them maybe the whole episode is going to be like just a news show oh my god look at all this homeless shit Absolutely. Get the app, man. Doral under arrest for being too good looking. <laughs> Yo, what's up, kid? What's going on, Javi? Uh, no, that's what I'm going to do. What's your name again? I, uh... Reg, right. I met you a bunch of times. What's up, Sam? Are we commiserating about how slow it is? Having fun, like I said. Oh, I got you it. Heard, you heard about you you Oh, guys, I'm sorry to say. You heard about this app called Fuji? Listen, I just got an $11 1.4. I can't think of anything else but the excitement. 11 bucks, we're fucking rich. This is probably 16 sodas probably though, right? Let's see what it is. Of course you sort it out small. My fancy uh, exit. Good to see you. All right, Ray, right? Be safe. All right, guys, let's go get this, uh, let's get this order. All right, guys, I don't know if you heard it. It's a big deal. We got an $11 and change. 1.4 mile order from Chick-fil-A. Customer texted me and asked me for five honey mustards and I'm going to get it for them because I feel like very like grateful just to have this freaking order to be honest with you. And 11 bucks, is a, this guy definitely tipped like five or six bucks. So let's take care of him. Diana, why? Uh, oh, you know, I'm starting to feel like some of the staff here, they recognize you. She did this quick for me. All right, let's get the hell out of here, guys. Same procedure as before. We'll put this here. Any chance you can throw five honey mustard at me? The customer's asking at the last minute. I don't know if that's even allowed here. I appreciate it. All righty, we're hooking the customer up. We got it, we got it, five. Fellow pioneers, I just want to remind you, if you want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave comments. Please also use my bonus code at Vora Motors, Electric Scooter Academy, get you $50 off any Cabo or E-Move product. You can see all these Cabo and E-Move products in my videos. I use them all. I really believe in what I sell. Thanks for your support. I got this customer their honey mustard because I realized this is a, um, I'm going to hand this to the customer in person because it's to Red Studios over here on Coenga. So let's just get this done. I think we got to go south though for sure. Alright, here we go. I can't help but put it in mode three every time we're at a light. All right, we're making a left up here and then we're gonna be really close because this is the other side of the studio here. So we're gonna make a left and then we're gonna go down Coenga somehow. Oh, we gotta make a left on Willoughby though, not here. A little further. I was wrong about that being red. Pretty easy. I usually meet the customer here like I was saying, so that's why I like to actually you know, if I tell them I'm bringing them the honey mustard, I want to get them the honey mustard. How you doing? How you doing? This customer's probably waiting for me. We got Kevin B. Yeah, that was my plan. Thank you. Uh, here's the hard part. Nice, perfect drink. Thank you. Well, now this customer had a request. He's going to like this right here. Kevin wanted five honey mustards. He's going to shock him right there. Thank you. <laughs> Specific. Usually I ignore requests, but, that was the one. but I'm grateful for the order. It's slow today. It's like spring break. We're not getting a lot of orders, so oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Left it at security with the barbecue. Oh shit! I mean honey. <laughs> I mean honey sauce. Fuck. <laughs> with the honey barbecue. Thank you. 
do it right or don't do it at all, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, uh, dude, I, you got the honey barbecue cornucopia, okay? Get all the bags. Enjoy it, bro. Thank you, thank you. Shit. <laughs> Feel pretty good about that order. Customer seemed all smiley and happy about his extra honey barbecue. So, all right, now we gotta get out of here. We gotta get back to Chick-fil-A, I guess. I feel like I'm gonna order Chick-fil-A. I feel like I'm completely hooked. I kind of feel like it's healthy somehow. I don't know, I'm brainwashed. I want the Chick-fil-A. One of these days we'll figure out what this, why the scooter's making noise, but it's performing great. I want nuggets, I want nuggets, I want nuggets. And we got to check the tire pressure, man. I've been beating up hard on this rear tire after the sealant fix, and we got to check the tire pressure. Right, Chick-fil-A is a fucking, I can't even turn into, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I screwed myself here a little bit. Go this way. Man, Chick-fil-A itself is insanely fucking packed. I guess nobody's ordering takeout. Everybody's coming to get it. I would sure like to sit down and eat some. Oh, come on, look out, buddy. It's a good spot to sit and rest. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you, Landry. I'm actually ordering for myself. It's so slow. Oh, man. Yeah, keep an eye on my bike. How's the scooter holding up? Are you going to get some food, too? All right, I'll be sitting right here. Let me just make the drink. Give me one second. No problem, no problem, of course. I think that's for me, right? That's okay, that's okay. All righty, that's one out of two. I feel bad for, I feel bad for this guy's milkshake, so I still want to wait for this other order. Okay. Oh, it rips the ground wherever you go if you're not careful. <laughs> Javi, take right, it easy, buddy. Right, Be careful. Yep. Okay, friends, we're going over to Curson. You know, I did order my own food, but I decided that I was just going to uh, get it to go and sit down and eat it after I do this delivery because it was a little, the timing was actually terrible. Usually the timing is good and I can order food and fucking wait for an order, but everything came out at the wrong time. So we're just doing this delivery and then we'll pull over and eat. I even poured my soda into a bottle of water. Order number three. I don't want to tell you, we're probably at the bottom of two hours. We've been working for a while, but we're doing it. Mile down fountain to Gardner. Feels like we might have to pass some cars. Everybody's driving slow. There's a lot of traffic up here, though. I got to be careful. Plus there's a red light. But, I don't know, I feel like moving a little bit here. Let's go. No, 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 you fucker. Jerk. I guess he didn't really do anything wrong to me being a jerk. Don't hit some fucking expensive guy's car. I think we're close. Oh, quarter mile. How you doing, buddy? I'm sorry, this is 744, right? This one right here? Yeah. Is that Aaron? Yes, yes. Aaron? Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, sir. You got me in here. Yep. All right, man. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Luckily, there were some other delivery driver there dropping something off, so the customer was right there. He actually received a third delivery right at the same time I was dropping mine off. So, okay, we got that done. That was a pretty good order. Let's head back to Chick-fil-A. I almost forgot I took my Chick-fil-A to go, so let's go to Target Center since that's what we're closest to, and we can still sit there and wait for an order while we eat our nuggets and fries. Right as we finished our McDonald's, I'm sorry, our Chick-fil-A, we got a $5, 1.5 mile McDonald's from our regular McDonald's over here. So should be a pretty easy pickup, should be a pretty easy drop off. We're going to Hayworth with it. We already looked at it. Let's go to McDonald's. This is the takeout line, so you know they're busy. Uh, here's the local fucking degenerates. How you doing? 7D1. I th oh, there you go. I thought I saw it. Thank you. Well, they got a new system now where they move the order. That was stupid. Let's go. We're going over to Hayworth. We know where we're going. Should be pretty easy. 
It's like, a, it's like an external entrance where you just walk up the stairs, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, let's go. Okay, we still might just do a little sidewalk action here. Let's do this. That way, technically, we made the light. Let's go. Let's not get smushed right here, though. Oh, we got the green. Let's go. Nice. The lights everywhere, red lights. All right, so I guess the best way to make a left here is to go this way and lane split here and then make a hard left at the right before the first car or right here would be probably good. Uh, that's the way to save some time. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're at the front of the line like we'd like. We're not slowing anybody down. We got a lot of juice here. Let's go. Looking at the directions, this should be pretty easy. It's either 1019 or 1029. 1019. It's going to be right here then. There it is. I think we're just going to run it up. Thanks, buddy. Okay, we did a good job, even though that person didn't tip, we didn't treat it any differently, just, you know, whatever. I mean, the tipping thing is just for like thumbnails and arousing interest and curiosity. I don't think I need to talk about tips to make this shit interesting, right? It's fun already. God damn it, what's going on here? I wanna go through, I wanna go this way, fuck it, we'll go this way, it's too crazy. And then we'll go north this way and head back to, uh, probably just go to Target. We've been out here for two and a half hours, 13 and a half miles, only four orders. It's insanely slow. I was telling Sam, the other driver though, for a video, I really feel like I just need five deliveries. So however long it takes, we're gonna go to Target, try to get one more delivery, and then we'll call it a shift. Might as well go old school and sit down at Jersey Mike's for a bit. We did get an order sitting here in front of Jersey Mike's, 1.6 miles to Genesee and Oakwood for four bucks and change. We're gonna take it because that'll give us five deliveries and we can call it a shift. There's always tomorrow. Hi there. I got Daniel F. Sure. Alrighty, she was not lying. It only took her a second. Last order of the shift. Let's get out of here. 1.4 miles. And then this will be our last order, definitely. And I'll give you guys a wrap up. Should be a pretty easy drop off. I don't know if I remember the number here though. What's the number? Why are you telling me it's on the left? It's on the right, dummy. Oh, 440, this has gotta be it right here. Here we go. Yep, 440. Easy enough, I think that was a good shift. Three hours is pretty much enough. At least we got five deliveries to make a video. So let's head home and I'll wrap it up. I think I'm gonna give you the wrap up from the scooter today. I have a lot to do. It's sometimes hard to pull over and bust out the other camera. Guys, I appreciate your support. Thanks for following another video. Don't forget to use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy at Vora Motors if you're looking at this vehicle or any, fuck, you fucker, or any E-Move or Cabo product at Voro, you get 50 bucks off and it really supports me as a content creator. I can't tell you how far it goes. Those add up if I get enough people to use them. You can also support the channel by subscribing, by liking the video, by leaving a comment, by asking questions. I'll always talk back, you know that. Guys, I appreciate your support. Let's go home. I'll see you for the next video, probably tomorrow, you know that.